Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm gonna do a countdown of sort of what's going on day to day and obviously if baby arrives early or late. So 11 days left today and um, I did just have to call the midwife because I had a bit of um, spotting just when I wiped. So that panicked me a bit. But she said it could just be body getting ready for labour, could come along soon. Um, they're not concerned if it doesn't fill a pad or you can't feel your baby's movements where this one doesn't stop moving. So for now, it could be all good and who knows, it might be all go in the next few days. But yeah, so excited now, can't wait. We can't wait just to see if it's a boy or girl. <laughs> That's gonna be the best moment ever. Like just, I sort of want Ash to have a look and say like it's a boy or girl and oh my God, I'm gonna be an absolute mess. Two nights ago, I had um, a bit of sort of cramping in my belly and I was like oh is this it and that lasted on and off for about an hour or so and I was like I'm gonna go to bed ash and get some sleep because who knows but then nothing happened after that so maybe that was like Braxton Hicks and obviously today with that we'll see but due dates in 11 days I was 41 plus two with Layla so she was nine days late and this one feels like it could be early but it could be late as well. I want to see if I can get my belly on show anyway, just before obviously I pop and it's not no longer there. It is so round now though and so, getting so low and just like a big beach ball. <laughs> all the veins, all the stretch marks. Never had stretch marks with Layla so <laughs> I've, got a, I've got some down my legs as well. It's been completely different this whole pregnancy. Everything that could be opposite is opposite. Ten days left. Doing some exercises on my ball. <laughs> Looks like I'm floating right now. Nine days to go. Absolutely knackered today. Just done some crafting with Layla. <laughs> Just done a little princess thing, didn't we? Painting. <laughs> and then we went out this morning, didn't we, to play group? But yeah, absolutely knackered. Eight days to go. No signs today whatsoever. Um, I had my hospital appointment checked though, and they were all good. And she's booked me in for a sweep next week, the day before my due date. So, what are you shushing? <laughs> See if anything gets going then. Seven days to go. Look at the shape. Something ain't right. A few pushing down pains today, lightning pains. But still nothing yet. Still waiting. Five days to go. I forgot about yesterday. <laughs> um, oh, I've just had really bad heartburn this morning. It's been killing. I felt like rubbish this morning, so I went I back to bed for like an hour. And now we're just gonna have a picnic. Yeah, look, it's all in here. Yeah. Mm, picnic. picnic. I've got a stomach ache today, but I think that's just because I ate too much last night. Or oh, it could be coming. Wow, well, all that. But we did have like dinner and then cookies and ice cream, and then I had chocolate. Oh my god. <laughs> and now I'm eating one of these. Hey, what are you doing? That's enough. She will sound like a sound easy. Come in. It's no different. <laughs> Four days to go. I have a feeling that I'm going to be late at this point. I've got my sweep in three days time though, so a day before due date. I'll we'll see if that does anything. Nothing happened when I had a sweep with Layla because she was still nine days late. But we'll see, fingers crossed. Still a lot of pubic bone pressure, but still nothing here. We've got three days left till due date and I'm getting uncomfortable and impatient now. <laughs> Two days until due date and I am doing my nails yet again because you're still not here. Just had my sweep, one day to go till due date. <laughs> Hi everybody. Oh. <laughs> Um, she said she'd be surprised if I didn't have it by this weekend. Oh, fingers crossed. Um, oh, sorry, I've got my Halloween bits over there. It's not Halloween yet. She said she could probably stretch me to about two, three centimetres. Um, and that the 
so you can feel the membrane or sac, whatever it is. And the baby had hair again, so it's probably going to come out with loads of hair like Layla did. <laughs> but yeah, getting excited now, and she said that she would be surprised if we didn't make it past the weekend. But you never know, probably Mom, still might be late. Where is that pen gone? Oh, your pencil snapped. Mummy needs to sharpen it. Oh. <laughs> Huffy pants. <laughs> Right, Just gonna bounce on my ball tonight. <laughs> yep, like that. That's the one. That's <laughs> it. Got it. Been watching me. <laughs> Come on. Happy due day. Still nothing. <laughs> Not yet. Nothing. It's the morning, but we're going for a stroll to the shops just to get yeah, maybe amazing. something going. Stay active see how long baby keeps us waiting. Yesterday was due date, which was 31st of August, um, and today's the 1st of September. Lost my mucus plug last night, bit of it, and then this morning as well, so. The tooth! Yeah! <laughs> see how long it takes from there, really. <laughs> Exciting! Baby bump. <laughs> 2nd of September, 40 plus 2. Um, last night I had um, a bit of sort of cramping like at dinner time and I was like, oh, is this it? And then absolutely nothing else. It's just completely different. Again, like when I had Layla, I um, started my contractions and then lost my mucus plug. Whereas this one, I've lost like quite a bit of mucus plug over time, like over the days and still nothing, like no contractions. So I'm just basically waiting on those or obviously my waters to break. With Layla, my waters, they broke. So we'll have to see how that goes. Just had a nice shower though with spa music to get me all relaxed. Today's quite an emotional day to be fair because this date last year, I nearly lost my life. But I've got to think in a few days time, hopefully, or even next week, I could bring in a new life into the world, so can't wait. 40 plus three, still no signs yet. <laughs> Just installed this though, for Layla with the seat, ready to go. Hi, 40... baby bump. <laughs> 40 plus four. Hello, baby bump. <laughs> you give it a kiss. Ah. Oh. Still nothing. <laughs> it's kicking. Is yes. it? Yes. <laughs> it's sleeping out a moment. It's sleeping at the moment. Yeah. Because it's morning. It's morning. You're right. Because mommy's awake. Because yeah. it's some morning. Oldie do. Oldie do. Oldie do. <laughs> Two plus five. Forty plus five. And what have we made today? Onions. <laughs> Minions. Yay. You made it for Daddy, didn't we? Yes. Yeah. You did. Still no signs. Just my belly feels really quite tight today, but I think that's just Daddy Onion. Normal pains. <laughs> Daddy Onion. Daddy and Layla. Daddy Onion and Layla. Beautiful baby. Oh. 40 plus 6 today. Um, just went for my second sweep. And I told her not to hold back. And oh, she didn't hold back. <laughs> You're going to dump in puddles. Yeah, we're just going to go for a walk now, aren't we? You got your willies on? Yeah. <laughs> but I was 4 centimetres, guys. Like, with Layla, when I got to the hospital, having contractions, that was four, 4 to 5 centimetres already. So, it could come any time. Like, just waiting now. Will it make down for me? <laughs> <laughs> any pain I have now, I'm like, is this a <gasps> contraction? Is this a poo pain? Is this a sweep pain? I don't know. So, just go with the flow. See what happens. Where are you going? <laughs> but yeah, it could be within the next couple of days. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. 
Four hours after my sweep and oh, just uncomfy, tired. I'm having cramps or contractions. I'm not even sure which one it is. <laughs> um, when I go for a wee, it's quite sore. So yeah, um, hopefully things are going in the right direction now. And this happened yesterday. So we're just about to bring a new baby home and started leaking through the light in the kitchen. Just our luck. Yeah, we're gonna see if these contractions get any stronger throughout the day today or tonight, and I'll let you know. Had my sweep this morning at 8 a.m. It is now 2 p.m. and I've just lost a big bit of mucus plug. I'm gonna go try and have a nap because I'm absolutely knackered. Like that sweep just like took me out. And then see sort of what goes on from there. Taking this to bed with me, puppy pad, <laughs> just in case. Hopefully I can get a little bit of sleep. So my nap didn't go too well. Um, but I've been having sort of cramps slash contractions all day. I'm not sure whether it's due to the sweet or... Oh, see labour happening. But yeah, we're going to take Layla to Nanny's tonight anyway, just in case anything progresses from this sweet. Go to Nanny's. <laughs> just packed your bag, haven't we? Well, it was already mostly packed just toothbrush and that um but yeah could be all go tonight guarantee just as we go to bed <laughs> fingers crossed but they're not regular yet they're not as i said i think i'll know when they get strong and Layla, we might see you tomorrow or next time will be when baby's here give mommy a kiss <gasps> Mmm. It's my kiss on the lips. No. <laughs> <laughs> I get a kiss on the lips. Mmm. <laughs> oh, it's just a, just a cuddle. Yeah, yeah. Actually fuming at the moment, to be honest. Had like cramps and contractions for eight hours today, and then they've completely gone. So we're going for a walk. <laughs> Not that, it, not that it will do much, maybe, but it's okay. we'll see. We're off. I only had like four contractions throughout the night, and then just heard like a glug glug, half four, shot straight up. I don't know if my waters have gone or not. I'm not sure if it was. Um, yeah, loads of mucus came out, and the contractions started so strong. So, called and run away now. But we could have baby by today. 